John here. Uh, it's that time of year. People are getting back outside, going out, backpacking, and camping and stuff. And a lot of people use these water filters now. I've been using some for years, uh, particularly the backpacking ones. If you've ever used one of these, you know they can be kind of expensive. The filter in them costs quite a bit. The one in this one is, I think, $40. Well, you want to extend the life of those filters as long as you can, so there's a few tips I'm going to give you to uh, help you get that the most life you can out of your filters. There's different types of filters too, like uh, these little ones here you can buy, I think they're about 10, 11 bucks. Uh, everybody puts these in their backpack or their uh, survival kits, their car kits, their bug out bags, and uh, they work great for a little while, but then they plug up pretty easy. You can always blow back through them wipe them, things like that, trying to get more life. But once they get plugged up, they're pretty much done. Uh, particularly this style, you might have to use this in a disaster or emergency or something, and you want to get the most life you can out of it. So I always carry coffee filters and put coffee filter over it with a rubber band to hold it on there and help pre-filter it a little bit. But even better than that, Cotton balls make excellent filters. I put a cotton ball over it, then the coffee filter. Make sure it's down nice and tight so it doesn't leak up underneath of it. Just put a rubber band on it. Now, this acts as a pre-filter, cleans the water pretty good before getting to the actual filter. Then when this kind of gets plugged up, you can pull it off, do it again, or at the very least, you just added how much time you could get water and how many more gallons of water you can get out of one of these. You always want to make sure you get your water from the cleanest source you possibly can. So if you have a choice and you've got dark, muddy, dirty water and a nice clear running stream, of course you want to get it out of the stream. Uh, my favorite way to do it, when I go packing, I carry one of these. It's a Sea to Summit collapsible bucket. This one's 10 liters. Uh, I don't know exactly what that would uh, be in U.S. gallons. But I think it holds about two gallons of water. I like to go, as soon as I get to my camp spot, put my pack down. The first thing I do is go over to the water source and scoop up water in this, and then come back to camp and set it down. After a while, sediment in it will settle to the bottom. That The water up top will be nice and clear and clean looking, but uh, that doesn't mean it's still drinkable. You can still have Giardy and bugs and other things in there. But you, without all that sediment, your filters won't plug so fast. And then you can use your filter and just drink from the top of it. Or if you're using something like this, set your float real low close to the filter and put it in the water so it stays at the top. You don't want to get down in the sediment. And that'll help greatly extend the life of your filters. Some filters like this particular one here, this has uh, both a ceramic filter element and a pleated fiber or something or other. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but uh, this kind of acts as a pre-filter before this one takes out the rest of it. Uh, like I said, these can be pretty expensive. I don't make a lot of money. Uh, I tend to, if I have any money, I buy cool gear with it. So <laughs> it uh, I don't want to spend 40 bucks on this, but by doing watching your water source, using filters, pre-filtering the water, you can greatly extend the life of this filter. I had my old filter for probably about 10 years. The only reason uh, I ended up getting rid of it was the handle broke on it, so I got this one. Now, uh, when you get back home from your camping trip, backpacking trip, whatever you've done, it's always a good idea to flush your filter out with good clean tap water. Uh, one thing that does, there's a little bit of chlorine in your tap water. That will help cut down on uh, any bacteria or mold that might form or any water in there that might go stagnant after sitting. But even more important than that is to uh, make sure you take your filter apart, get as much water out of it as you can, and let it air dry. Uh, I usually take mine apart, put it on a towel on the corner of the counter, and let it go for about three days till I can pick it up and feel it and it's all nice and dry. You want to store these dry. Some filters, I'm not sure which, you can actually uh, 
put, you can freeze them. I know some you can't. You have to check the manufacturer's warranties for it to uh, their manufacturer website to find out which ones you can. Uh, if you can freeze it, that's all the better. You come home, you flush it with good clean water, get as much water out of it as you can, and just pop the filter in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. As long as it's frozen like that and it won't uh, grow any bacteria or anything, and your water won't taste funny. Uh, if you do do that, though, make sure you take it out the day before your uh, trip. That way you can let it thaw out so you can't pump water through a frozen water filter. Um, yeah, that's about it. I can't think of anything else. Uh, just get outside, enjoy yourself, get the most out of your gear, because take care of your gear, your gear will take care of you. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.